The Crew Dragon capsule is the spacecraft that houses the crew. It is replacing the Cargo Dragon capsule that was previously used on SpaceX resupply missions to the International Space Station. The Dragon spacecraft that we'll be using to carry astronauts to the space station and bring them home is really a 21st century spaceship. My first impression of the inside of Crew Dragon, I was amazed. It's obviously a modern space vehicle. It's very sleek design inside, very comfortable. The seats are actually car racing seats, so the safety factors go up considerably. We've flown Crew Dragon uh, already to the space station and back. We subsequently made a lot of changes, improvements, but we also just have to be absolutely paranoid about safety. Well, the experience of training in an accurate capsule with a spacesuit is invaluable. Bob and Doug wore their spacesuits in the simulation because we want training to be as flight-like as possible for them. SpaceX Dragon, we are ready to pressurize. When you have all your equipment on, it allows you to get more comfortable in a situation. So the more you can train in those suits, the better you'll be on the real day. It's exciting to see, you know, modern components in a spacecraft. You get very used to the shuttle, the 2000 switches, circuit breakers, the seats. It's not the most comfortable vehicle to fly in. You know, for those of us who've been living with switches from the 60s for all these years, to see a modern interface is something that's pretty exciting. SpaceX Dragon, we've got two good LEDs. Copy all, Drag. Some of the great innovations that we've made, we have uh, these wonderful touch screens, so you can see everything that's going on in the vehicle. You can get all the data that you need about the vehicle. And you can also control the vehicle all from these touch screens. The gloves are compatible with the touchscreen. It's imperative because there are operations you need to do with the gloves on. Our tablets are updated. The Dragon capsule is almost completely automated, so it should be able to fly the entire flight without us intervening at all if everything goes normally. And I think it's the way of the future with vehicles. I mean, we see that now with cars, we see it with airplanes, and this is just the next logical step. Mm -hmm.